What's going on, y'all? This your boy Teddy B. Blackman. I'm here with a, another audio reaction to um, another playoff series ending. I know I kind of got away from these John. Well, at least I don't think I missed one. I think I missed the Philly and uh, Hugh, not Houston. I'm about to say Houston. I'm thinking about James Harden. Uh, Philly and Miami elimination John. Also missed the Golden State and Memphis John. But uh, I guess I ain't going to really be doing these jumps consistently outside of like the Celtics jumps probably. But um, yeah, so it is final. The Boston Celtics will advance to the Eastern Conference Finals with a final score of 109 to 81 to take the 4 3 series win versus the defending champion, Milwaukee Bucks. And um, at what actually was a blowout game. Um, the second one of the series, actually, and not, I guess it was a good first half, you know what I'm saying, it lived up to the building, but for the most part, this game was put away in the third quarter, and the Celtics went on a, a big run, uh, where a bunch of threes were falling, and increased the lead, and Giannis just didn't have enough help, and he was struggling himself, actually, to keep his team afloat. Um, this was the first time all series I felt like the Celtics actually built built a soft wall for Giannis. Um, especially after it was evidently clear that his teammates wasn't going to be able to consistently knock down three point shots. I mean, they were super abysmal from the three point range tonight. Um, they were four for thirty three, and that is, if I'm not mistaken, twelve percent. 10, not not 10%, about 12%, or something like that. And that will not get it done. Um, not in the, You take 33 three-pointers and you only make four. That is absolutely crazy. Um, obviously, Giannis had another monstrous game when he had 25 points, uh, 20 rebounds, nine assists, just one assist shot of a triple-double. And... It just wasn't nowhere near enough. Um, just to run down the stat lines, I'm looking here. Uh, obviously, Drew Holiday had 21. Uh, Brooke Lopez had 15. I felt like they uh, the first the first half of the game they used Brooke Lopez how they should have been using him the whole series, but then in the second half they just went away from that again. I don't know whether that's coaching, um, Coach Bud not putting the emphasis on like getting him the ball in the paint, but yeah, that was actually it's crazy. Um, but then you got the the role players. You got the 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 Grayson Allen's who was just completely useless this whole series, man. Um, he's gritty during the regular season. Completely no call, no show. Um, Pat Connaughton had a a bad game. Um, Bobby Portis, he kind of you know was MIA this whole series, not doing up to you know not living up to what he normally. Was presenting, but I'm I'm guessing that's more so of a Boston thing than any out of you know anything. Um, obviously, I can I'm just going off of how they played in the first round against Chicago. Um, when they were also missing Chris Middleton, he's an All Star that they are missing. I'm about to get to him versus you know a more you know better competitor in the Boston Celtics. Obviously, Milwaukee isn't at full strength, which is scary because they took this to seven before the wheels fell off in this game. And they're going to get back Chris Middleton and they're probably going to tweak this roster a little bit. Um, I'm looking. And they brought in Serge Ibaka at the trade deadline, and he just was a complete, you know, wasn't playing at all in the playoffs. So I'm, I don't know what that's about. Um, I'm looking at players like George Hill, Javon Carter. Uh, Javon Carter had a good first game against the Celtics, and then he just kind of didn't play <laughs> after that. I don't know what, what that's about either. Um, but, yeah, uh, that's enough about the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm sure they'll read to uh, – they defend the champs. Giannis, exhausted, I know. They'll be able to get a chance to get healthy, tweak this roster, and they'll be back for the foreseeable future. They, this is – uh, I, I can bet money that this probably isn't the last time we're going to see Milwaukee versus Boston in the playoff series. So, yeah. Um, on the other hand, the other end of the spectrum, um, man, congrats to the Celtics, man. Uh, when the season started, I like to watch the first game of the season, and I like to make predictions. And after watching them blow that game against the Knicks, um, I predicted that 
they would have about a 500 record and there would be a first round exit. And that prediction was uh, getting looking stronger and stronger as the season started. Everybody know they got out to this crazy rough start. Um, there was a bunch of drama uh, between Marcus Smart calling out Jason Tatum and them saying they need to pass the ball, become better playmakers, you know, all that stick before they go on this, you know, crazy run. Albeit against like not the whole run wasn't against hurt teams, but a lot of hurt a lot of teams were hurt and they were capitalizing off a lot of hurt teams as well as some healthy teams too. So, to me, I was still keeping a close eye out. Um, obviously, they had the first-round matchup against Brooklyn. They were the two-seed, in which that that even came down to the final day of the regular season between Boston, Milwaukee, and Philly. And um, Philly and Milwaukee chose to rest their starters, to I guess, to gain more favorable matchups in the first round. And Boston was the only one that, you know, went out and played their starters against the Grizzlies to, to secure that two seed, which would be um, give them the home court advantage in the second round. Now, obviously, each team lost on its home court twice this series. We won two games in Milwaukee. They won two games in Boston. Um, thank, thankfully, the Celtics won this game because I was making so much fun of uh, how – Last year, Philadelphia lost three pivotal games against Atlanta. They lost game one, they lost game five, and then they lost game seven against, like, um, <laughs> Atlanta and whatnot. So, I, I just think that they were – thankfully, they were able to pull this one off. And now we're going to get to the uh, the key contributors, man. Uh, obviously, we can start off with the stars, like how we normally do. But I'm going to start off with Grant Williams, man. Um, I gave Grant Williams a lot of slack. Ever since he's been in the league, um, I I think he kind of rubbed me the wrong way, especially uh, last season, just rubbed me the wrong way. And you could tell he's been putting in a lot of work in the gym. Obviously, he's been working with a uh, lethal shooter for a long time, so that shot has improved drastically. He had the game of his life today, man. He's a uh, career-high 27 points, um, six rebounds, two blocks, and – it's plus 25 for the game, man, which I think is the highest on the team, if I'm not mistaken. Um, man, it, it's it's always the unsung hero that steps up in Game 7. At least it feels like that for Boston. Um, I remember vividly the last Game 7 we were a part of. I think that was a few years ago against the Wizards. The Kelly Olenek game where uh, Kelly Olenek dropped 30 against the Wizards. And um, it sparked the, the viral memes of his picture being painted on the side of Ben's Chili Bowl and all of that. So, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, that's a restaurant in D.C. for um, those outside the area that listen to this. I know I got a few people outside the area that listen to this type of stuff. So, yeah. Um, obviously, uh, Jason Tatum, who is, who is just an unbelievable talent. I get mad at Tatum a lot, man, but it's just – it's just about the plan, you know, stop complaining to the ref so much. Other than that, man, Tatum is just unbelievable, bro. Um, guy's 23, 24 years old, and definitely one of the top players in the um in the in the league. Now you do gotta cut down them turnovers a little bit. That's seven turnovers, Tatum a day. That that is why we we won by thirty, but still, bro, going forward. <laughs> Um, shout out to Jalen Brown, man. Jalen Brown had a bomb game, 19 points. Uh, there was a lot of talk about splitting up Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown early in the season. I was one of those people. Um, but you cannot fault people for saying that because at that time they were not playing the way that they are playing now. Um, shout out to Marcus Smart. <laughs> um, Al Horford, who was the catalyst to the other game where – uh, he got dunked on by Giannis, and then Giannis stared him down, and that, that kind of switched that, you know, that kind of turned the tide in that game. And uh, Peyton Pritchard coming off the bench and just hitting timely threes. And Derek White, who struggled as far as, like, shooting, but he always affects the games. You know, he's playing great defense. He, he has rebounds. He's getting assists. He's affecting the games in other ways than scoring. Um, obviously, I don't want him to go two, one for ten. But, you know, as long as he is 
being confident and competent, we'll we'll live with that. Um, so Robert Williams was available to play. He didn't play at all. I, I'm starting to get a little worried about this. Um, this is about his third 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 game, Thursday game miss. Um, hopefully I'll gauge uh the, it's a quick turnaround. Uh, Eastern Conference Finals starts Tuesday night in Miami, so they're gonna have to catch a flight down there probably Monday. Tomorrow, actually, <laughs> probably, and um, yeah, it, it the grind is the grind is a grind, you know what I mean, um, but yeah, hopefully he's in the starting lineup. This this is starting to be a little worrisome, just with a sore left knee soreness, especially the one that's been surgically repaired. I think, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully he's good on that front. Other than that, man, gritty gritty win by the Boston Celtics, man, um. Not still not so still not sure whether they're championship material. I mean, I guess I could say they are. You don't have to win a championship to be championship material. These these guys are contenders. Um but yeah. That that'll wrap up this uh that went longer than I normally do, but hey, it is what it is. So that'll wrap up this uh review and Boston's moving on to play Milwaukee, man. I mean Miami, excuse me. And uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, we out.